a thought about prayer. Be still and know that I am God. That's from Psalm 46, first part of verse 10. I want to start by describing a common occurrence in our house. <clears throat> one of the boys will be on a phone, in one hand, uh, earphones on, face looking down at the phone screen, walking down the stairs, into the kitchen, to then open a fridge door with the one free hand, still looking at the phone screen, reaching for a carton of juice that they will then attempt to pour one-handed into a glass that they're not looking at. And my response is stop, pay attention, do one thing at a time. I'm led to wonder how often God may say that to me <laughs> if I had ears to listen. I mean, I've always been a busy person, always having different tasks on the go at one time, probably like many of you, and I find it hard to be still. Not so much physically still, but still um, of the thoughts and the noise in my head. Be still and know that I am God. I started a journey a couple of years ago to practice stillness. So during the ministry certificate course at the church, we were encouraged to explore Christian disciplines more intentionally. And I bought a book by a guy called Richard Foster, and it was called Celebration of Discipline. And I chose to experiment a bit more with the discipline of meditation. And as Christians, we may not talk too much about meditation because it's often associated with Eastern philosophies um, that are not based on God. However, it is very biblical indeed to still yourself before God, whom we seek to come close to so that we can hear him. So although this journey for me started a couple of years ago, it's something I do find hard to practice for significant lengths of time. But I know that it pleases God when I desire to be with him and to offer what I can of him of myself to him. Another scripture I want to share with you. You must love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, all your strength, and all your mind, and love your neighbour as yourself. That's Luke 10 verse 27. So this passage in the New Testament sums up the commandments challenge for us to love God with our whole being, uh, which is a challenge indeed. And part of getting to grips with this for me is about being aware of myself and all of those components that make up me, which again leads me back to being still so that I can know God. Along the way, I've tried different ways to try to help me be still. So I frequently use a finger labyrinth because I find that helps me to focus my attention. I also use a Christian mindfulness app called Reflect. Um, which is a number of different ways to help people connect with God through scripture. I also take time to breathe deeply before I come to God. Beth, when talking with Katie on one of the Thursday prayer evenings, recommended another book by Richard Foster called Sanctuary of the Soul. So I bought this and I read it. And it is so encouraging, I mean, as well as challenging, clearly. Um, but Foster described the first step of coming before God as recollection. And I'm going to read just a little bit from it now. It says, recollection involves a recollecting of ourselves until we are unified or whole. The idea is to let go of all competing distractions until we've become truly present where we are. Recollection does not come easily or quickly. Most of us live such fractured and fragmented lives that collectedness is a foreign world to us. The moment we genuinely try to be collected, we become painfully aware of how distracted we really are. So because this process of recollecting or stillness um, is not instant, I also find that I can procrastinate. So I try to do other things that are on my list which are more tangible, that I can tick off. Um, but I end up putting off that most important part, the, the being with God bit, um, because it's not easy to detach myself from the things around me or the noise that goes on in my head. So however, my mindset is different towards stillness now and it is changing because I know that the times I have been in the presence of God and I know it's at these times when the other things do fall away and the experience of being in his presence is really sweet and beautiful and tangible. 
and I do miss it when I don't spend that time in stillness. I notice that I'm becoming overwhelmed by other things. So even if those other things are part of that commandment, you know, to love your neighbour as yourself, the demands to do this can seem too big. And that's when I catch myself losing perspective of our God. And then that's precisely the time that I need to recollect myself, to be ready to be close, to hear God and respond. My hope is that you'll be encouraged to be more still, to delve deeper um, into a God whose presence is amazing and that you want to enjoy more of. Thank you.